Eagle Nation. Today, we got a lot of news and rumors to talk about. Debo Samuels officially requests a trade from the Niners should the Eagles target him. Also, Tyron Matthews, the Honey Badger, said, according to Adam Schefter, he ain't signing nowhere until after the NFL draft and the Eagles are still on his list. And last but not least, could Calvin Ridley still be an option for the Eagles? This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, Eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. And today, we got a lot to talk about. But before we get into it, Eagle Nation, do your boy a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And ding that notification bell so you know when these videos drop or when we go live, which will be tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Devin Caney is coming back on the podcast to talk about the NFL draft. And we're going to do a four-round mock draft. She will give all her input. I hope to hear from you guys, too. So turn notifications on so you're there with us at 5 o'clock tomorrow. And let's not forget, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com. Use promo code PhillyMike for 20% off and free shipping. I'm telling you, it will get you right. It will get you right, no doubt about it. Now let's just get over to the, the Debo Samuel news, right? I just think if he's available, the Eagles should make a offer because he's a great run blocker. He'll run the ball, although there are speculations that he doesn't want to be a running wide receiver no more, right? But that is part of his game. You take that away, and I don't know if he is worth the amount of money that he wants, which is a steep asking price when you talk about contract. Now, the San Francisco 49ers want to give it to him. He wants out. I don't understand why they were just in the NFC Championship. I understand Jimmy G's throwing to him. Well, then that might make him not want to come to the Eagles because Jalen Hurts has this year to show growth. He's not an established guy. I don't know what his deal is, but the way he blocks, the way he runs, the way he gets yak would help this team tremendously, and I'd be willing to give up some compensation. And when you look at what these wide receivers are going to be asking for, we can pay him. The cap hit can be friendly this year, and it could really hit in the 2023s, the 2024s, the 2025s when the cap goes up and all the top wide receivers will be making that money so it wouldn't affect us. I don't think the Eagles will do it because they've been preaching draft, 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 draft. Whether some people believe is because they don't believe in hurts. Some people believe they just want to get younger. There are wide receivers in the draft that can get it done. Olave, Williams, Traylon Burks. I'm not as big on Drake London as a lot of people are. We'll talk about that. Also, we talked a couple days ago about George Pickens, right? Two defensive players, one being a corner. Get Pickens, come up with the second round. And we're also going to talk about Calvin Ridley. You're like, what? How is this? A, a, what do you mean? We'll get to that. But let's get to the Honey Badger first. Because low-key, we all been waiting. Every time we hear something that has his name in it, we're like, huh. He posted something that he was with his girl the other day, but he put a green heart. People were sending it to me saying, hey, a green heart, a green heart. Could this mean he's coming to Philly? Maybe. Listen what Adam Schefter said on the John Kincaid show when Jamie Lynch asked about the honey badger. So you think a honey badger falls in that category? The honey badger will wait till after the draft. He will wait till after the draft. He will not do his deal before the draft. Do you think he's got a wink wink possibly with a, a team or two? I'm not saying he's got a wink wink, but I, I think he's got interest from the Saints and the Eagles and other teams. So the Saints, the Eagles, and other teams, here's my thought on that. He's been low key hitting the Eagles a lot. He's been putting stuff out on Twitter talking about, hmm, maybe I not hmm. I got to go over everything. I got to exhaust all options, read the fine print, all this stuff, right? He's been talking as if he's going to wait and see. Somebody on Twitter, Victor Williams, uh, 
owner of the Liberty Line, I believe it is called, he posted something that the Eagles probably are not going to go after Tyre Matthews because we're interested in possibly moving up for Kyle Hamilton, safety out of um, Notre Dame. And he commented on that and said, LOL, okay, and then he deleted it. I think that he really wants to see what the Saints do as safety, what the Eagles do as safety, and whatever ever other team it is, whether it's the Rams, which I don't know how it could be them because they don't got money, but they somehow make it work. So I think that the Eagles will look at what's going on with Kyle Hamilton, Daxton Hill, Jaquan Brisker. Are they available in the, in the second round, late first round? Do they trade back? They're going to exhaust them options. And if we come out the draft without a safety, I believe the Philadelphia Eagles are going to go get the Honey Badger so we can have a little celebration after the draft as well. I think that is a huge possibility. And again, I'm glad Adam Schefter said that he is waiting. So now for the next nine days, I'm going to fall back on the Honey Badger in my head. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give me some much, much needed woo because I low key been Every day thinking about it. That's what we do as Eagle fans. We are fanatics. Now, let's get to the Kevin Ridley news. You're like, Mike, what are you talking about, Kevin Ridley? Now, again, John Kincaid used to host a radio show in Atlanta forever. He's been an Eagle fan. He couldn't wait to get over here to host an Eagle show. But he got connections in ATL. And listen to what he says. Listen to what he says, and then I'll give you my take on it. Even though Calvin Ridley... There, so one of my uh, one of my buddies covers the Falcons. Was uh, watching the show earlier this morning. He said, maybe a third day draft pick, fifth round or or beyond, could get Calvin Ridley off the uh, off the Falcons' hands. Fifth rounder right now with John. Do done and yeah. done. I don't even I, think twice. I was done, and- done and done says Bob Cooney and Jamie Lynch, and I'm doing it too. Now again. He's not playing this whole season due to being suspended for gambling. And what ATL is going through is, one, he kind of quit. Like, ATL looks at it as he quit on the Falcons in the season we just had. The 2021 season, they look at it as he quit. He had a mental illness. He had to step away from the game. We saw Lane do it. We saw Brooks do it at times in Philly. But they came back. He never came back. In the process of being away, he was gambling. So I think Atlanta, who was in talks with Philadelphia to trade him for a third-round pick, the Eagles were willing to give up a third-round pick for the likes of Calvin Ridley. It was all said and done. We were going to. And the reason he's only worth a third is because who knows if the mental illness comes back. Who knows if it's, if it's, you know, if it's mental illness, if it's attitude, if it's lack of caring. I don't know. I'm not the judge of that. I, I'm not a doctor, and I wasn't studying this situation closely because I'm not an ATL fan. However, the talent on the field is legit. 1,200 yards, nine touchdowns. Last time he played a full season, that's what I want. That's the production I want. Now, a third-round pick was after mental illness and quitting on the team. The Atlanta guys pretty much toned John Kikade a fifth. A fifth will get it done because of the mental illness. Now the gambling thing. It's going to be two and a half. It's going to be one and a half years that he missed. And if you could acquire him now, I don't know if you can acquire him now because of the suspension, but ATL can't expect a third round pick anymore either because he's shown that he's not responsible, whether you think it was a stupid uh, suspension or not. He's shown that he's not responsible. But if you're telling me a fifth round pick, the talent that Calvin Redley is, I'm I'm doing it in a heartbeat. I would do it now if we're allowed to, and I would do it in the offseason. I would do it now if we could and let him sit, suspended on our team, or I would do it as soon as the season ends. I know that's not going to help us this year, but Calvin Ridley for a fifth-round pick, I was excited when rumors were a third-round pick. But then guess what happened? This scenario came out. The Eagles were on him at one time. I don't believe the gambling prom will stand in the way of the Eagles making a move. And low-key, I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow. I'm not going to say it's going to happen this year. But if the Eagles don't get exactly what they like in the draft, V 
via wide receivers, say we go to defensive players and we can't make the move up in a second to get George pick. And say we are sitting at pick 51 and there's not really, we didn't go wide receiver. We're at 51. There's not really one that you think is that big of an impact player unless you're, you know, maybe the John Mechies and the Pickens are already out of the, out of there, right? Christian Watson, guys like that, Alex Pierce. I don't know. And we go somewhere else, offensive linemen, blah, 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 blah. Well, you never know if this could be a little trick out of how we sleeve. But I'm telling you, Adam Schefter said Tyre Matthews is going to wait till after the draft. That's still in the cards. Debo Samuels requested a trade. I do not think the Eagles will make it happen, although he's the receiver that will fit perfect for the Philadelphia Eagles, just skill-wise, if he continued to play the way we know he can play. And last but not least, Calvin Ridley was a target before. Let there be some light at the end of the title, light at the end of the tunnel with his case or with him. I think the Eagles will pounce on it. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section. I go by Philly Mike. This is the Philly Talk Podcast. Make sure you do your due diligence and uh, due diligence. Make sure you help your boy out and hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new and ding that bell because, like I said, we will be live. Devin Caney tomorrow at 5 o'clock. My Sixer fans will be live tonight at 8 o'clock for game three. And let's see if we can get this over 300-plus likes. And definitely leave a comment because I love hearing from you guys. We out.